We are going to install React Native Firebase on Android by setting up a brand new project on React Native and a new account on Google Firebase and setting these all up in our React Native Firebase app module. We'll start by opening up our terminal and creating a new React Native project running npx react-native in it and the name of our project, in this case Firebase. Let's browse into our project folder and install React Native Firebase by running yarn add at React Native Firebase forward slash app. Once this is done, we can open up VS Code and browse into our directory and make sure that the dependency is installed. Next, we're going to do the Android setup, which requires us to make sure that our Firebase project is properly configured by downloading a Android configuration file from Firebase. Let's open up Firebase and go to the console. In here, we'll create a new project for our Firebase installation. Let's add a project and in this case, we're just going to call it Firebase. We'll select continue and just go through the basic steps here. And what we'll do is we'll create a new Google Analytics account for this as well. And I'll call this Firebase once more. We'll set the country over here and we'll make sure that everything is set correctly. In this case, I'm in Australia, so I'm going to select that and hit create project. Once that's done, we can go into our project here and select settings at the top left and project settings. In here, we'll be able to generate a new app project for Android. So we're going to select this icon over here. To do this, we're going to have to register the app by grabbing the Android package name. This is located on the Android app SRC main and the Android manifest.xml. In here, we'll have a value for the package, which is called com.firebase in my instance. I'm going to paste this in here and the rest we can keep blank. Let's register the app and wait for that to load. Be aware that if you want dynamic links, invites and phone authentications, you're going to need to generate a certificate and paste it into the debug signing certificate SHA option. Once that's done, we'll get our Google services.json, which we can download into our project. Let's download Google services.json. When we download it, we'll paste it into our Android forward slash app folder. Let's drag this over into our VS code installation here, and we'll put this straight into the folder path. To allow Android to validate our Google services plugin, we'll need to enable it by browsing into Android build.gradle. We'll go in here to the build.gradle and we'll go to build scripts and dependencies. And in here, we'll paste in the class path for the Google services. We'll also have to make sure that we've added this into the app build.gradle as well. So let's copy over this text and browse into app and build.gradle. And we're going to scroll to the very bottom here and just paste it in below. We're now done and all we have to do is run React Native and we'll be up and running. Let's open up our terminal over here and create a npx React Native run Android and open it up on our virtual emulator device. This has been a React Native Firebase for Android installation in 5 minutes or less. My name's Adrian and I do videos around design and development. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.